All right, let's try again. We only finished one run and it was really not good. So we're going to try again. Um, I'm hoping that we, I think we just, I really hope we get out of the early game because I would just be keen to just do a no reset right now. Uh, like just do one full run now and then call it. I started a little bit later than normal because I was doing stuff today. And then um, it'll be a good time to finish in about an hour and a half. Because then I've got some other little tiny things to do. Another load of laundry. So yeah. <clears throat> and then I'm gonna have a, something extra to eat. Nothing massive. I don't know. Probably like, because I had my first meal like at lunchtime, and then I had my second meal at like five. My third meal, like that, even though that was kind of like dinner time, it was more like my lunch. So I should eat again today, but I want to start going to bed earlier. For sure. Uh. At least... Yeah, for the 17th, I need to wake up early on the 17th, so I'm gonna try to be getting up earlier and stuff and maintain that. better to get started now. It really is just like, if I just go to bed slightly earlier every single day, like, it'll work. There, I don't know, like, I was actually tired around 2 in the morning last night. I probably should have just gone to bed a little bit earlier, because a little bit really does make the difference, because if I go to bed at 2 in the morning, then I wake up at like 10 in the morning, rather than like lunchtime. Because if I wake up like, say like 11, 11.30, then I'm just going to want to stay in bed until lunch, then get out and get my day started at like 12 to like 1pm, and then go from there, and then that's when everything gets delayed really badly. So yeah. Um... So again, like, the plan is to just not have a massive dinner and too much energy. I'm just gonna have something nutritious and hopefully get tired a little bit earlier because I won't have as much food energy in me. It actually works. And, like, also, I haven't been having a coffee during stream like I always do. I mean, there's gonna be a point in the future that I do want to be up a little bit later, especially for, like, upcoming Formula 1 races later on, because I always start at 9pm and I want to go to my friends and watch it and stuff. I don't want to go to bed and wake up, like, insanely early, but for the 17th I do need to be up and out the house quite early, so I definitely will make sure that I'm, like, going to bed um, at, like, no later than midnight, which it's pretty reasonable, you know, it's pretty achievable. The way I was like, yeah, yesterday I was like, I could have gone to bed at 2 and I should have, but I kind of... Oh no, it was like 1. Yeah, and I stayed up till 2, but I could have just gone to bed at like 1, and then I just would have got to bed an hour earlier, woken up an hour earlier, and I would have treated my morning like a morning and not like it's over and then start things at lunchtime. Makes a huge difference to the rest of the day. Affects your body clock a lot. <laughs> Should make Queen of Autumn leaves? Yep, it does. Yeah, it depends. Like, I don't want to gamble on a reset.
set on the night before because it's kind of like I it's really important I don't miss these appointments. Um shit. Oh, what I got for this to this. Because I haven't really done anything wrong before, they shouldn't charge me, but like it's not worth getting charged to not show up at an appointment, it's like it's just really not. And um, yeah, I just want to get all this stuff done ASAP. I did mention at the start of the stream, for anyone else who doesn't know, it's the appointment. Like, I'm getting uh, braces on uh, on the 17th. Um, and the sooner I get them on, the sooner I can get them off. Oh, that's right, Black Dragon, Jungle King! Why didn't I think of this before? But it doesn't matter. I was just gonna lethal with the uh, Crawling Dragon. Yeah, um, that's gonna be the next step. Just needed to wait till I was healed enough from my surgery for them to put them on, so that's fun. And uh, they'll be on for like a year or so. Oh shit. Fuck, how did I miss the Dancing Elf like three times, man? That's so painful, because I just want to like get a good start and finish this run. You thought braces were a thing for ch- really? That sounds like something a child would say. I've seen plenty of adults with braces on. Flips up and attacks this, he'll die. He didn't. This won't kill him, but. I tried to attack him as if I'd put that face up and I didn't. Yeah, well, you know, just consider that not everyone can necessarily, like, afford them. Or have a parent afford it for them. And also, like, the times I went to the orthodontist to check things when I was a kid, um, the problems that my mouth had weren't really fully developed until later on. I probably still could have got this all sorted in, like, years ago, but probably not that early. Because there was still some baby teeth to fall out, you know, when I was that age. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? Oh, oh, I, I can't I can't believe how bad this is actually. Right, I got pretty lucky. That she played pop left here.
you know, this is the dragon deck, so it would be nice if I actually draw a dragon here. Well, I drew one, but fucking Jesus. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the thing as well. Some people might have a job plan that covers that stuff, but... Kaiser Dragon, guys, you might not see it again, so have a look at Kaiser Dragon. No, don't do that. Oh, dude, that's the worst shit ever. Uh, if this is a trap, I'm dead, so... That could have been a trap, it could have been Shadow Vice, but you guys know what I mean when I say trap. I don't know, I mean that. Uh, Elegant Ixtis is absolutely useless, even if you have Harpy Lady. It's the only thing it's better than is like a fake trap. Do anything about it. It is effectively a five deck card, zero SP dummy card. Yo, Ayana, what's up? Yeah, I know it's gonna be a pain in the ass, but um, it's just gonna be a year. It's gonna suck, and I mean, my teeth, it's not like my teeth don't suck anyway, so. Yeah, it's gonna be annoying as fuck, but uh, after that, I'll be very happy with the results, so yeah. Thank you for the support. I don't know, and I, I have a bit of a different brain and mindset than I used to. I used to be very, like, terrified and anxious of that sort of thing, but I'm like, fuck it, whatever. Like, it's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world. Like, it's just annoying for a year, and then it'll be fine. Really looking forward to the results after. Um, and then I got to get, like, two implants as well. It's, uh, completely. <laughs> But I, I've had a pretty big surgery now, and I'm not really too anxious to have another one, so... I do have pictures from before, trust me, I do. Not that I really want to look at them too much, but yeah. Um... I think I'll be happy to just, like, say goodbye to that after. I'd probably only show before and after to, like, family or whatever. Probably wouldn't share that on the stream. Do I... I? Yeah, of course. I get rid of all my dragons and then I draw my fish. Holy shit. It's not that bad. I'm not gonna show pictures of, like, open wounds and stuff. Like, no way. Um... This is actually probably not the play. I think he's gonna move, play to the right and kill this. But I think this is actually a better play than the Sky Dragon, so... Yeah. Any lethal here, I'm fucked. Okay, um, at least I have this, I guess. And this better go for a direct attack. I can take it here from the Aqua Dragon, so it's whatever, honestly. And he shouldn't kill the Cursor Dragon, even if he tries to attack it, he shouldn't, like, because it would change the terrain, so. 
It's just annoying that I didn't have any more damage there, but whatever. <laughs> we both have 250 life points. Amazing. So yeah, um... I don't know. My goal is to kind of have my teeth sorted by 30. That's my goal. And I'm on track. The big barrier is going to be if I have enough money to get the two implants before then. Otherwise I have to do it like after, but... Uh, I got that. That's nice. Okay. I kind of want... I really want that. Okay, good. What else do I want? I don't know where I want to land. That's not where I wanted to land. I wanted to land one or two earlier than that. The Fiend Kraken's really bad, but the two cards before it were good. For sure. Either of them I'd be happy with, but we think. Oh, and we got the Kairi Shin and an Eclipse or whatever. <laughs> Drop wise, we're not looking that great. And we're not going to get a Dimension all this round, there's no way. I'd be really surprised if we do. I feel like it will be a, a waste if I just get too many dimension holes on these runs where I'm not really, nothing spectacular going on. I was happy to get it for the uh, Air Knight Parshath one because it ended up being really good, but... It's kind of trying to chill here, you know? Just want to get like a comfy one, uh, sub-130. Oh, okay. I wish I had a bit more SP after making that play, but I don't. A bit of a shame. A bit annoying. I think, yeah, I'll just... Okay. Alright, I don't... I think you guys... What you guys actually want to see isn't an equipped Kaiser Dragon, but I think you guys want to see THTD, right? I think that's what you guys want to see. You guys want to see this card, right? You guys want to see this have an impact. <clears throat> and if that was a trap card, I could have attacked with uh, an equipped Petit Dragon and one. Yo, Blissey, what's up? It's him! Uh, featuring... Was it Rin? Strong hype, indeed. Oh. Oh. No. I want the copycat. I wanted it so I can reincarnate it and get a ROS or something, but... Hope you're doing well, Blissey. How have you been? Is the MKW for Mario Kart Wii? Is that what the MKW stands for? I guess we'll never know. Solo with a Kyle the Dragon, huh? What a beast. Look at this thing. Uh, 
I'll be pretty surprised if he plays to the right and blocks me here. Like, he did brick, so he's gonna play something strong, but 2800's a lot. Like I said, no Dimension Hall, he didn't even play like a non-monster, really. It was a fucking TNN, really? Oh my god. Alright. It's a shame we didn't get any good loot, but whatever. Maybe we can like get something crazy in reincarnation. The pace is okay at least, but Wow. Used up all my loot luck. Yeah, I mean one dimension hole is enough loot for several runs, uh That's all we're gonna get for the rest of the stream. No three in a row either. That wasn't even close. Like, as soon as we land on a fake trap, it's over already, so... Yeah. Shame, but it's just how it is. Alright. If we... We can save time here if we don't spend five minutes editing the deck, you know? I have to mention also, we're not going to be digging for it either, you know? God, there's so much shit I don't have, it's actually scary. I got a second mountain again though, that's kind of funny. We gotta lower the- oh my god, man. Let's take out Minor and Odin. Reincarnate this. This is better, I think. Ew, these cards are not good. Alright, that card is okay. That's acceptable. Um, that Zary gun. Got that tentacle plant for sure. Rikazi. We get Burning Spear for Rikazi because that literally goes on nothing. There's like, no point putting that in there. Um, yeah. Let's just go with this deck. If I missed a card, then so what? I don't want to sit around forever. I just focus on raw pace. And hope for the best. A sub 130 is not overwhelmingly difficult or anything. It's just we need uh, to not have like 10 minute time losses on Pegasus and stuff like that. So. Comes Exodio. Watch, he'll play it this time. Already not as promising. If he played a second one, uh, if he played a second piece after that, I think someone in chat would have gotten really excited. There it is, there's the second one. Did he just. I think he just top decked that. So that implies that the first four cards in his hand are not. Exodia pieces and he's gonna draw cards one by one now. Grab it anyway. Doesn't work. What that card is. That's not an Exodia piece. Kind of like the likelihood of playing it is still very low. It's higher than normal uh, in this situation, but it's yeah, like it's impossible now. He's actually just locked himself out of it. He has two non-exoti pieces on the field, so he can't play it. So it's just normal. Yo, Blood, thank you for the good luck, man. I appreciate it. It goes good. How's your life? What's going on, man? Got some, uh... Kind of interesting things coming up, I guess. 
what do we actually want to do here with these cards? Get rid of some of this shit. I'm getting a, I'm getting braces on in like 10 days or 9 days or other. That's been a, the plan for a while, but it's like I called up and they're like, yeah, we can do this in like a, 10 days from now. It's like, okay, I guess we're getting started like straight away. So there's that. Um, it's a bit brutal what's going on right now. Look at this. With my draws, I'm like 100 short with what I have. Yeah, I think I talked the other day about the massive surgery, and that was also to prepare for this. And then after that, things are mostly good. Mostly good. It's only one more issue after that, and it's like... Eh. Your teachers rot. Are they actually rotting? Not good. My adult teeth are fine. There's... Like, health-wise, the teeth are fine. Uh, okay. Alright, this is doable now. That's nice. Black Dragon Jungle King! Gallons of coke. I don't know, it's weird because, like, I feel like... I was never really too strict on dental hygiene, but every time I got to the dentist, even though I didn't go for ages, like, they were all pretty happy with the health of my teeth, and... Um... I was kind of surprised, because I'm not... Uh, like, it's not like I never brush them or anything, but, like, there's definitely, like... It's definitely not anywhere close to what is recommended. Like, it's not really on the level that I think most of dentists would ex want people to have. Not expect, but want. Another case with that is, um... I clean my ears out all the time with, uh, like, Q-tips. And everyone's talking about, like, oh, you're gonna have these problems, and, you know, you're gonna regret that. And blah, 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 blah. And I've never had any issues with earwax buildup because I'm cleaning them all the time, like, so consistently that there's never any buildup, and um, I went in one time thinking there might be a blockage or something, I didn't know what was going on. I went to the doctor and they were like, no, nah, these are like the healthiest ears, like the most clear, be through, like, no, there's nothing in here at all. I was like, okay, cool. And like, that was after not having my ears checked for like a decade. He's just like, he's just like, yeah, they're clean, they're, they're great. I was like, okay. So it's always funny that when I tell people that I, I use q-tips because I think people don't understand that like just because you're using q-tips it doesn't mean you're doing what you're not supposed to do with them if that makes sense um okay that's pretty interesting actually maybe I want to save summoning power here I test you reckon Maybe I should? Yo, Turbo Dizzle, what's up, man? Herb Zero Delessel. How's, how's it going, dude? What's up? I haven't done eye test in, like, forever. I think last time was when I was, like, trying to get my learner's license. Ah, uh, yes. A classic. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I'm doing good, man. Thank you. I'm glad you're doing well. Thank you very much for asking. Everything is good, man. Everything is you. Your left eye? If I, um, yeah. If I notice anything affecting my eyesight, I probably would get them checked straight away. But my eyes are pretty decent. I don't know, it's funny how many different factors there are and like how much you could be screwed over because I have... On some departments things are really good, but then on other things it's like unbelievably bad, like... But I guess that's true with everyone. 
We all have like the good and the bad. Like I've got fucking skinny fat jeans, so I just fucking my whole body's skinny, and then my gut just sticks out like nobody's business. Um, and I'm short. <laughs> I don't. I'm not insecure about being short or anything, but like I'm just always gonna be short. Like it's just you just have to like accept that. Um, so like my I've never had body confidence, like because I'm just this short guy with my gut sticking out like all the time, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's one of those things where it's like, it's good quality hair. I don't really think that my hairline is going anywhere. It's possible it does later, but like, honestly, if it happens after 40, I'm probably not going to care that much. But it's one of those things, like, if it started receding now, I'd be like, what the fuck do I do? Because I've purged my facial hair, so I would like, I would end up shaving it, obviously, but then I'd look like an egg. Because I can't grow a beard out anymore, because I, like, purged that, like, all my facial hair, so... <laughs> it's, uh, pretty interesting in that department. Like, the one thing I have going for me is hair, so if I start losing it, it's pretty grim. <laughs> no, because I'm not that tall. I need... Honestly, I think it'll be... I like the idea of, like, working out a lot, but I failed to do that, like my whole life so we'll see i like the idea of uh after i fix my teeth up there's like no excuses and nothing to really work on assuming my hairline remains um there's nothing else that i can possibly do or want to do or improve apart from just like working out and then maybe then maybe then i'll just be able to stick to it because it's like what else am i going to be invested in because even like i can eat Pretty good food, like my diet and stuff can be fine, you know, but... When it comes to exercising, I have no discipline or anything, it's pretty shit. Oh, I'm not gonna lie, it's pretty bad. Um... I guess I can do this. Now that's just a, that's a bad play, that's a really bad play, I think. To attack with that is really bad because it would do 11, 15 and move away and then I'm like screwed. Uh, I also, I just really want to get this card off the field. If he defends there, I'm just fucked anyways. So that I have to kill this and this is going to die and then he's, I don't know, I'm in a really bad spot actually. But yeah, I mean, you have examples like Vin Diesel, The Rock and stuff, but I'm not like, I'm not like a six foot tall jack guy. Like I'm a, I'm not even close. <laughs> You know. Um let me do here. This is this is like nothing that I can play here, man. This is disgustingly awful. This is really shit. Oh wait, alright, I got a wing egg uh, wing egg of new life. I'm sorry, I've got 1400. Whoa, look out. Look the fuck out guys, it's an egg with wings. Crazy. What is that? Defend, I just get Tectus anyway, because I don't know what it is. It's paralyzing Potion. Sure. Oh my god. Whatever. Uh, like after this, I've got Beam Soldier, so I should be able to win next time. Yo, Zod, what's up? It's good to see you. How are you? Isn't it, like, lunchtime for you or something? I don't know if you finished work. I was like, what the fuck is this? A fusion. I don't know what this is. But it's gonna attack me, obviously. It's a guy of the dragon champion, dude. Holy shit. Holy shit. Unbelievable. Oh, wait, I can just do this. Maybe we should get a curse of dragon in the deck. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, again, that duel wasn't good, but the Yugi we had was so bad before that this is just free time safe. Um, nice. Sure, I'll take it. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't know if I, I don't think I'm going to be putting Gaia in the deck, but sure. You're super busy early and postponed your lunch break to now. Fair enough.
What are you having for lunch? Do you pack your lunches, or is that like a place where you buy lunch there? I could play Guy the Dragon Champion if I wanted to, but I don't think I actually want to. What did you What did you pack yourself for lunch? You haven't had breakfast yet? Definitely get around to that. What are you going to have for breakfast? A sandwich? What is in the sandwich? Anything exciting? I gotta eat again. I'm going to after this run. Bread and stuff. Okay, well, I guess I'll go fuck myself then. You got some avocados yesterday, some toast. Sounds fucking awesome. Just avocado on toast, or is there something else? In there. Avocado and Marmite? I don't know if you like Marmite. Stop, Simon. How's it been, man? Took you a while to understand why we're looking at, at 130 instead of sub 1, because sub 1 with anything other than pure D would be like a 1 to 2 year long grind. Oh my fucking god, really? Oh my god. This is not looking good, unfortunately. You know what, I'm gonna do this, in case I do actually join my Kairu Shen. Yeah, well I mean, I got sub 1 and then I also got world record with passwords with the POD deck, so... Like... Uh, that's, like, that's done. That's, uh, that's in the past now. By, uh, several months at this point, I think. I'm glad things have been good for you, though. Forcing those cards, he was. I could have beaten... Actually, neither of them. I mean, I could have beaten a Ryoku Geek if I had uh, a powered-up Kairu Shin, but I didn't have Kairu Shin, so I wasn't going to beat any of that shit. I couldn't even beat uh, a single Ryoku, like, with 1k, if it was, uh... The thing. I really don't like this. This, like, this is a really bad duel for this deck. There's just nothing I can really do, honestly, against this guy. I guess, like, Wall of Illusion, but I took it out. Uh, okay. I think I know what's going on here. Okay. I think I know what's going on here. Uh, I wonder if I can get away with doing this. I'm just gonna try it. Yeah, this is a gay dig. It's just like frozen here, so. Um. I'm gonna just try this while I have a chance. Let's see. Is a gay dig and he's freezing because I have the same attack that causes him to like bug out a little bit. But I wanted to make sure I was in a position to do this. I wasn't sure if he'd defend against the ghoul with an appetite because it was two spaces away, but um... now we can do this. Um, and then he doesn't react, and then I can attack him directly. Best thing to top deck would be Kai, uh, power of Kai Shin because then I can just kill him here. A lovely camera angle. Haven't you noticed it this whole time? Uh, okay, we didn't get it, but we got other cards to kill him with, so, yeah. The important part about this guy, like, all the time is just getting past him. 
I don't know why in the previous run this split was so good. I don't even know what we played to beat him. I don't even remember how we beat this guy last run. ROS, of course. Was it just ROS though? I feel like surely there was something else involved. But yeah, missing ROS does kind of hurt. We don't have dimensional either, but I mean, still playable. I don't know about this run. I don't know. Gay dude. Nice. I mean, yeah, it could have been. We didn't have a power up for it, so it's. Um, we had something before it. We had something before it. I can't remember what it was, but I remember him using Barrel Dragon, and then we ROS the Barrel Dragon and then attacked him directly. That's the only part I remember about that duel, but I don't remember what happened before or after that. Really? The summoning is undone. That's what it would sound like. Because he's smug. He's smug, look at him. Now is the time to use the bathroom if there's any in the run, but I don't really need to go, so I don't really feel like getting out of my chair. Um, I'm just thinking about what I'm doing after the stream. I'm gonna finish this run, then I gotta sort some laundry out and probably do some cooking, eat, and then wind down and go to bed eventually. Oh, I gotta do another load of laundry, that's it. Design an SVR mod, nah. I mean, in all honesty, if there was anything we were gonna do apart from... Um... The stories, I honestly would rather do a Gran Turismo 3 thing. But obviously I know this not serious, so I'm not, not gonna be worried about that. I don't know, I wouldn't bother actually designing one unless you actually opened it up and had a look and you're like, Yeah, I can do this. I don't even know how complex or simple it is. I don't really think anyone... I don't know. Some of the earlier wrestling games, people uh, there's, people like modded newer wrestlers into those. And they've done pretty good jobs, but... I don't know if that reflects on the more recent games. I say more recent. More recent in the context of the PlayStation 2. I guess it is more recent still, but only by like a margin of like two or three years. Even though they were like, you know, 20 minutes ago. Like, Smackdown vs. Raw 06 is actually, it was released in 05, so that is like, it's weird to think that's like my childhood in wrestling and it's almost two decades ago. Like, oh my god. Like, fucking, that was when John Cena was in his prime and John Cena like just announced that he's gonna retire in, within the next year. His time is up. Your time is now. Yeah, I don't know how it works either, Simon. We're gonna pretend to know. I guess if you look hard enough, you'll eventually find something, and like once you have a starting point, it you work from there. Made some coffee, nice. How do you have your coffee? Go for a chili con con. I mean, you mean. You're going out for one? Like, go for one? As in, like, go out for one? Or are you just gonna make one? You're gonna make it? Okay, good. Yeah, I made it, and it was pretty good. Considering I just threw everything in a pot and cooked it. <laughs> I didn't really... I don't know, I, I never really cook with recipes. 
Yeah, I think I'll be black, no sugar. Pretty interesting. I mean, it's fair enough, but I, yeah, I can't drink coffee without a bit of milk and or a bit of sugar. Now, there would be some coffee beans that would be fine, but most of them, not. Nah. Especially like, you know, your instant coffee or whatever. You don't like sweet beverages in general, fair enough. It's a bit of a surprise, but uh, I always envy that because then I wouldn't be tempted to drink anything like garbage. Would be cool. Garbage. I had the weirdest thing. It was like a bubble tea can, but it wasn't even bubbles. It was like tiny, like rectangular prism. Let me check, actually, if I've got a good thing. I don't Of course I don't. Uh, fuck. How do I actually want to go about this? Finally, we had that hand for, um... Weevil. That would have been cool. Alright, uh, let's find out what this is. Because if this is like 2600, I'd probably just like restart. Alright, that's beatable. I guess. Uh. Oh. Shit. Kinda sorta not. Why couldn't we have these cards early, man? Fuck. Oh. The machine can... Oh wait, it's... Why did I think it was gonna be 2300? He, he played Invigoration. Alright then, sure. I just like assumed it was gonna be raised body. Yeah. Sure, we'll do this. Just because I can't guarantee that I'm going to be able to attack over his stuff if I don't do this. Uh, <laughs> I get this anyway. Okay, sure. I got an Anthrosaurus. That's something. I don't think I'm gonna be beating the next turn though. Like, there's surely there's like there's no way. I don't, I need a lot of damage if I want to be able to do that. Then again, I'll do some damage here, I guess. That's good. I don't know how much. Yeah, not much. I didn't think it would be much. Because uh, I'm gonna be attacking on the wasteland. I can win the turn after, no problem, but this turn, I don't think it's happening. Um, but especially because I need 1800 and I can play Queen of Autumn, I need 1700, but Queen of Autumn Leaves is weakened, so, alright, I, that's good. I have a Dark Witch, I think it's the first time we're playing Dark Witch today, any, any Clovis blushes. Alright, I'm glad we won there, because I didn't want to get stuck on this. Like, I don't want to really lose time, like, anywhere here. I want to carry as much time as I can into Pegasus and be, like, ten minutes ahead, you know, comfortably. There we go. Nice. Shit. Alright, well, you know what? I think that's actually a good thing, because I don't really want to edit the deck again and lose time, so, sure.
But if I got the Mammoth and an Invigoration, I probably would add them in. You know what? If we get a good Necromancer here without adding the deck here, we actually can save some time, so that's nice. Yeah, my deck isn't really that strong. So, we gotta be, like, careful. With what we have. And what we draw, and what we play, and what we're looking for, and... Obviously, managing summoning power is always an ass. Always a bitch. I just got Anthrosaurus. I can play. I should. Oh my god. I should really, really be able to play. Uh, like, win with Sword Arm of Dragon. I really don't want to spellbind that. I think I just have to do this. I just have to... yeah. See how much damage is possible. Then I'll leave a dragon, I guess. Alright, well we got this. Okay, that's the uh, something. Um, yeah, we'll do this. And then next turn I'll do the Pyrushin. Yoriki. Thanks for the good luck. I think we're good this duel. We... I don't know, there's actually a possibility of dying here, um, but we should be okay. I think we'll be fine. No way! I got punished so hard. He's gonna Dark Hole now. If I played Pyrushin now... Then again, if I attacked with Pyrushin here, I would've changed the terrain and I wouldn't be able to actually attack him directly. But... Um... Yeah, him dark holding here just means I can't beat him next turn. Unless I draw a machine, I guess. Uh, or something strong on Wasteland. A zombie actually is fine as well. I need a zombie or a machine. And then we can attack him just fine. I think the play was right. Because yeah, if I change the Kairi Shin, I just... Wait a minute, he didn't move? I thought he'd move away. Never mind, I'm stupid. We win anyway. Um, I don't know why I was shitting myself so badly, because he moved back and played that. I thought he was still gonna move, and he would move to the right, and I wouldn't be able to attack him, but it didn't matter. Anyway, how are you, Ricky? Hope you're doing well. The time save there was because I didn't edit the deck the second time. Uh, so sure. You're sick, that's not good. What, uh, a cold? Almost got a butt mesh three in a row. Or like stomach sick. Or like headache. Fever. Hope you're all better soon, man. The whole of Europe's getting sick. Everyone get ready to quarantine. When I got sick, how long ago was it? Like two months ago? That was the first time I got sick in like over a year. Or like a year and a half or something. It was ridiculous. And it hit me pretty badly. Sure. Um, oof. It's so tempting to like... You know what? I think I should actually not throw this. I could play Bean Soldier, but he's just going to kill it. And the problem with Bean Soldier is I can't kill on two hits with that, so it's actually pointless to play it. One of them was recovering from flu, and he just he just decided to um, to go. I don't, I don't know. It's like I don't know. I I can't say this about someone's friend, but I don't know. If I was sick, I probably wouldn't have gone out. I guess. Um, if I was recovering from flu, I'd probably just give another week or so. It really depends. I think, you know, like, one person is a bit different, like, a whole group of people, I guess. Miss each other. Uh, it's a risk, I guess. Depends if you're willing to take that risk. Ah, uh, what the fuck is this? Which I guess you were. Thunder Dragon for the FM crew. 
All right, maybe that's a bear trap. I'm guessing it's a bear trap. It's not a twin-headed. No, it's not. Although I could make one here with those two cards. Like, you can use Black Dragon Dragon King to make it. Kumo Toriko, oh my god. Piece of shit. But why would I make it now? It's actually pointless to do that. Alright. Gonna attack this in case it is negate attack or block attack. It's Quokka Hercules. Wait, he equipped it. I'm stupid. I didn't. I wasn't paying attention to that, so I didn't really need to do that. Victory by Black Dragon, Jungle King. He equipped it. Yeah, I wasn't paying attention. I was looking at chat. I don't really care what he's doing. I don't really care that much, to be honest. In that situation, I don't. Green Arrow? Nah. You pay attention. I guess you did if you knew, and I didn't, but... I'm sorry for trying to provide hospitality to my guests. Thank you very much. Anyways, speaking of paying attention, now is a good time to pay attention because I have, a uh, 16 minutes to beat Pegasus. I'd rather be past him in 6 minutes and not 16 from now. Yeah. Oh, our deck's just not good for this guy at all, and it's way worse than the previous deck was, so there's gonna be fucking dog shit, but... Maybe we'll win. Hopefully. Hopefully, surely it can't be that. We got two field spells. Maybe that'll do something. Maybe. Alright, we have uh, Kairu Shen with a dragon treasure. Get fights. Get fights. Let's just send this, I think. Fusion and Mega Morph, I'm assuming. It's kind of irrelevant what he makes because if he fuses, it's like a dead card anyway. Pretty much, especially on the left side, like it's just not going to be a factor in the duel for the most part. We just know that it's, it's not strong on tuning, so that's just good. Beta just trapped card with this, and then I play a fake trap over this so that he can't actually attack it and deal with damage. If only they didn't nerf the THD, like this would be massive. And like he can't even put Dragon Treasure on THTD in this either. They really fucking murdered THTD in this game actually, it's actually so shit. Oh ho 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 ho! alligator. Uh, hey, we can make, actually, oh, we can make it, we can make it, we can make it. Look at this, look at this. Yeah. PHTD for the fans. Oh, yes. The scary thing about this, though, is that I can't really move forward. Uh, uh, because then this thing, he'll do change of heart or brain control and annihilate me, so. I'm not going to move forward here, I'm not going to take that risk. No, no, sir. Change the URL? Nice. Hell yeah. Alright, what have I actually got here? Oh, <laughs> we got a mountain! There is, uh... There's, uh, something poetic about this. The funny thing is, we're not actually, like, this. We are really just playing Forbidden Memories right now, I think. Wait. No. FM3. This is the sequel to FM, so sure. This duel was so much... You know what? You know what? Because just fuck this guy, I'm just gonna stack my dragon treasure, my power of Kai Shin. On this. What a beast! What a fucking beast. Alright, that was actually a pretty good duel, I'm not gonna lie. That was pretty good. For a, for a shit deck, it was good. We totally didn't need to double equip that, but I don't know, 3300 attack is cool. We have two mods with 3300 attack there, it's, it makes me feel good about myself. And that was faster than the Pegasus that were in 
Oh, and Mega Morph? Are we truly FMXing? Yes, we are. Let's get three of them in a row and get something else in FM. No, we missed it. Um, I don't know if we bother adding that in, to be honest. I don't think we do. It doesn't, like, it doesn't take that long. But Mega Morph, it's not full power Mega Morph. It's 300 attack and not a thousand. If it was a thousand, you would absolutely do that. Unless it was, like, there was just some circumstance, like, pace-wise. Where you needed everything to be perfect. Um... To finish a run. Like, there was, there's no way you wouldn't have that if it was plus 1k. But it's plus 300 and it's like, whatever. I mean, if it was 500, probably would add that as well. Anyway. Uh, Still FMXing? <laughs> Restore Mega Morph's glory. If we could do text, I 100% would say we're putting it back to a thousand. Like, it's not even close. Bright Castle, yeah. But yeah, if we could fix the text in Megamorph, I absolutely 100% would... I would say, yeah, let's do that. Oh. Okay, we're just gonna play... Uh, uh, Kairu Shin, Power of Kai Shin, Power of Kairu Shin. Sure. Pretty good card. Will she still do the thing where she's gonna, like, move this other card... Uh, in my way, probably. I don't think it matters. She didn't play Mirror Wall, and whatever that card is probably isn't going to cause me any problems. No, she defends it. Wait, why are we pouting? Blunt Blooded. Hello, Blunt Blooded. I hope you're doing well. Why are you pouting? I hope you're not angry. That, uh, that was fine. Kairi Shin came in handy. I didn't need to equip it either, but it is safer. She'll just, like, never beat that, pretty much. Why are you pouting at a laughing cat? That's mean as fuck. Oh, it's an oof. I thought it was like a laughing cat. Okay. You got flu in summer. Everyone's getting the flu. What is going on? COVID-24. Alright, everyone get your masks up. And, uh, panic buy toilet paper. Hi again, Shin. You were here earlier, but then, I don't know, I thought you left. You're doing well, man. Let's think about a month or so ago. And now, now you're a marmot. Okay. <laughs> uh... I don't know about this, man. This is not looking too good. What if I do this? What if I do this? Making lunch? Nice. What are you making? What's for lunch? What's on the menu? Uh, okay. Again, if he plays top left, it's a weak monster or a non-monster. So he wanted to play top left and then just not do anything with that. Yeah. Grilled cheese with tomato soup. See, I never knew that that was like a tradition to have those two items specifically together. But eventually I did learn that that was a thing from like a food tuber. If anyone knows of uh, Adam Ragusea, pretty big channel, so. And look who it is again, it's Kairu Shin. Every duel. The funny thing is, like, again, we talk about, you know, maybe Aqua. I think it's actually a pretty shit deck. Um, food. Is that how I said it? How did I say food? Food. What, what am I supposed to say? Bod. Bod. Bode. Fucking, what? Foden. This deck is not top tier. It's really not. Anyways, um, I was saying, so... Any other starter deck that you put uh, Kairu Shin in and, a, like, a Power of Kai Shin is just better than Maiden of the Aqua. This rocks. Uh, is that a rock pun? I don't have any rocks in my deck. I would like one. Rocks are pretty cool, but, you know. 
I, I mean, you can, I can't even play Stone D because I just don't have a rock. Like, why Why didn't they put a fucking rock in the dragon deck? Like, what the fuck, man? They were just, like, way too scared of you being overpowered in this game, I think. The... Sure, let's send it for the fans. This is actually not obviously not guaranteed to win, but it's actually like uh, better odds than the last thing we won with, with the, which was Sniper Soldier. Boom. Big fan of that man. Yeah, I like him too. I've never actually tried any of his recipes, so I don't think. I do want to try out his pizza recipes. I always tell myself that I'm gonna like make pizza one day from scratch, and I just never do. Alright, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, and the thing is, like, I don't know, I think making bread would just be a good skill to have, even if you don't do it that often. I probably should just do it one day. Yeah, this is fine. Um, it, I don't think it'll gold. I don't know, because the previous keep was exactly like this. It was, it was the exact same duel, except, um, I won with two attacks of Cyber Soldier instead of, uh, Sword of Dragon. You love making bread. Nice. How often do you make it? Do you make, like, pizza as well? What are your, like... Do you get... Do you get quirky with bread? Do you put, like, uh... Herbs and stuff? That was faster. Six seconds. Alright, things are looking a bit better. It's final four now. Um... We could actually technically sub 120 this. I don't... I don't really expect to do that. I mean, if everything is good, we can actually sub 120 this. Like, the last four duels are good. But we actually have gotten really lucky for a lot of these duels. Like, it's actually crazy. A soft bread type of person. I can't really chew fully right now. Like, it's it's hard to explain where my teeth meet. Like, it... But when it starts feeling like too much pressure and I can't bite too hard, I can't fully chew. So I don't really want to be eating stuff like bread because I can't properly chew through it. But like, a scone is like really crumbly, so I could just eat that and it just like falls apart. So I, if I go past the bakery, I have like, oh, the other day I had like a fucking, it was a uh, raspberry and it was a raspberry scone with lemon icing. It was really cool. It was really tasty, actually. Kind of want to buy another one, but uh, we'll see. We'll see too scared of failure. We have to fail to succeed. Big words, I know, but... Alright, see you later, Zod. Thanks for popping in. I do appreciate that. Have a good one. I hope the rest of work is okay, or whatever you're getting up to is okay. Because we are probably, hopefully, within 20 minutes of the end of this one. Alright, what have we got? What are we dealing with here? That's the question really get rid of like all of this stuff actually. If he moves this monster out the way, I'm pretty screwed. I'm just kind of hoping that he doesn't. I'm hoping that he just leaves it where it is. Oh shit. Okay, well that's fine. That's actually fine. I didn't expect him to attack me there, but uh, he would have four monsters out, or at least, I think, three. I don't know how many he needs out. It's usually three or four, but... Huh. Well. Okay, um... I guess this is the best thing we can play, so... Sure... I just hope he doesn't annihilate this with something scary. I don't know. If he's played a lot of monsters, he's probably got some weak uh, stuff on the board, maybe? Yo, Brickslow, what's up, man? Hope you're doing well. Nice two Nelligator thumbs up you got going there. Oh shit! It's a fucking Kazajin! It's literally the highest attack card you could have there. That's fucking incredible. Unbelievable, dude. Uh, oh, we need a lot of firepower to kill this thing, actually. Um. Shit, man, this is fucked up. 
This is actually rancid. I need, like... Uh, I need, like, THDD or something. Yeah, I mean, I actually feel like I started later than normal. But... This is the last run for sure. I don't think we're gonna be sub 120 in here. It was exciting until this duel, and I knew it was not gonna be that good. My deck's not that good, so... Um... I need, like, a uh, dragon. A powerful dragon. I need crawling dragon or sky dragon if I want to kill this thing. So, we're just gonna be sitting here and drawing cards, and it's pretty bad. Uh, I don't think we actually do this because it's we're gonna be in this duel for another like two three minutes at least i think and he just has so much shit on the field man just look at him actually insane actually insane Alright, sick. With the amount of effort we need to go to to play this and beat that guy, like, that's actually crazy. I mean, if this was a password run, we wouldn't be in this situation of being 10 duels in and... Like, it just wouldn't be a thing. There's just no way. Maybe in this situation, if we were doing like a passworded run. Uh, this is a bit scary to try to finish this duel. Um, see what I've got again. I don't know what I've drawn into. So. Okay. I know what I'm gonna do. I know exactly what I'm gonna do. I've got the strats on lock, guys. Watch this. Watch this shit. You guys ready? Are you guys ready? You guys predict what I'm gonna do? Are you guys... Are you guys ready for this shit? Some of you might be able to, but yeah. Utazi. And then the Kairushin Lethal. Boom. Look at that. Wombo combo. 2800 attack, Wombo combo. Uh, that was about the same duel as the run that we finished earlier, so that's interesting. The difference is we're ahead by like 40 minutes. Whoa! Promotion again. Okay. I don't think we're gonna be beating the next three guys in the next 10 minutes because, um,. Like, we need a perfect Seto again. Like, it's just not gonna happen, I don't think. We also don't actually have a really good deck for Richard... Like, at all. Um... We just don't have any of the cards that, like, solo him in three turns. Uh, I don't know, like, I don't have an equip for Nekagal or anything like that. I don't even think... No, I don't think it's possible. I don't know, maybe we have, uh, Judge Man? I think it's possible. I think this... Does this deck? I have Mega Morph. I didn't put it in. So... I mean, Nekagal is still good, but... We draw nothing. Okay, cool. Uh, this is really not good, actually. This is really grim. That's exactly what I said, Hippo. I said, like, that's not really a thing. Uh... Yeah. 
I need a good fucking card here, man. This is really shit. I was like, I, I trust me, I already said all this stuff if I already said like this, this is not a thing. Uh, fuck, man, shit, 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 shit. Can I have this earlier? Man, man! Oh my god. Will this do anything here? I don't think so. I think he's gonna play in front of him anyway. I hope he plays... no. Oh wait, this... this actually kind of is the play? Yeah, he should move this out of the way. He should... Yeah, that was the fucking play! That's legend. actually... Um... Ooh. I really hope he doesn't kill this. I really fucking hope he doesn't kill this, because if he does, we're in a really bad position. Holy fuck, I really hope it doesn't kill this. If he kills this, man, it's really sad. I should have not done anything differently. I'm a legend. Okay, cool. Nice. Yeah, I had one of my discs was fucked, and then that's when I found out that if you keep. If the loading screen goes past what it's normally supposed to, it'll cycle through all the stuff. Um, it goes from, yeah, monsters to effect monsters, to spells, to traps, and rituals, I think. And yeah, yeah, you can do that. You can open the lid if you want. I kind of forgot about that. Uh, still technically doable, but that assumes that the last two doors are going to be really good, which is a huge stretch. I'm talking about sub 120, by the way. Again, we're only going for sub 130, so like, I, even if we miss it, I still kind of hope that this is relatively good in the end. Because I'm probably not going to do another run with this deck, i got to be honest, I think. Uh, I, like, it, that's why it'd be really cool to get sub-120s on any of these, because then I just would never, like, come back to them, ever. Just remember that the 134, like, we had Dimension Hall, but it was just a shit run. And there was a lot wrong with it, and we played outdoors, but we didn't get Dimension Hall, like... And then, like, had, like, a 10-minute loss to Pegasus, that was a huge problem. <laughs> Memory Hacker. Memory Hacker does kind of sound like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. There was a Duel Master card called Brain Jacker. And that just, I don't know, man. I don't, I don't approve of that. <laughs> I don't think that is a very nice name for a card at all. Alright, YOLO time. I mean, there's no other way to play this guy, especially without, like, good cards. You just have to play the highest attack, really. With, like, without compromise. Insane in the membrane, is that what I said? Brain Jacker just translated to that. Um, I don't think this club 120 is anyways, unless this is like perfect to the next or something. Like it came into your brain. Okay. Inside of the brain. Oh. Right. oh fuck! This is not good. Uh, dude, this is really not good. Wow, this is shockingly bad. This won't even- this doesn't even make anything. Like, that should make Dark Witch, but it doesn't. Alright, it's fine. We're, we're not, it's, it's impossible, there's no sub 120 anymore, GG. But that's fine, I mean, that fucking- that ham sucked. He was never gonna do it anyways, but yeah. Yeah, that doesn't. I learned that today as well, trust me. I learned that today as well, it was very grim. Uh, Fairy plus Arlone doesn't make Dark Witch, apparently. You would think that Arlone would be good with everything, but it's it's really not. This fucking shitty game, man. Why would they do that? Um. Patch to all cards mod that what that does what? Oh, 
I like, because fixing shit like that is really egregious. Uh, that's why, like, Redux uh, doesn't fix what what's his name. Like, Eldeen doesn't fuse into anything. And, like, if we wanted to fix that, we would have to add, like, hundreds and hundreds of fusions just for one card, and it's like, no. Because that means we have to replace other shit with it as well, and it's like, that's just not happening, hey. Uh, what do you want to do here? Let's just do this. I guess. But I actually kind of... I think maybe it's better to just not do this and attack with the baby dragon without a fusion, because it won't trigger the destiny draw. Because of destiny draw, and he could actually technically play a, a mirror force. Uh, he didn't even play his fifth card anyways. So, GG. I uh, don't know what that is. I'm assuming it's a monster, so uh, GG. Yeah. Alright, bit of a shame we couldn't sub 120, but like, who cares? Uh, we still get a decent run out of this, so. Considering this deck is just not good, and I don't even have Dimension Hall or anything, sure. Um... It really, like, all these fucking no-password runs are just, like, Kairu Shin. Like, just winning with Kairu Shin. Like, just soloing people with Kairu Shin and something else. Like, it's so funny, actually. Kairu Shin Megami Tensei. Tensei, whatever. These serpents are goaded, yeah. All, like, two of them that are actually good. There's five of them, and <laughs> some of them aren't even good. I know there's five, but like, they're, they're, like, the Criminos is one of the worst cards in the game. Peking Dragon's not good. Uh, Spike Cedra is shit. Kairi Shin's good. Aqua Dragon, I mean, I'm not gonna bullshit and say it's not good, it's a good card. Bom, bom, do, 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 it's your favorite song. Can't take that away from me. I can try. Killer one zero o m Modern Warfare two sub rubbish. Okay. Uh, hmm. Let me do this. Do we? Uh, maybe I do this. Huh? Maybe I do this. The <laughs> carry is bad. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> it gives me another mountain, are you serious? Um Okay. Funny. Yeah, funny. Okay, what do we get rid of? Something that's not actually gonna give us the lethal. The carry is back. The hyper carry. The fucking Leviathan. Leviathan. Oh, Kairushin! So powerful. Almighty. Kairushin. Get him back. No, because he's on crush. And he thinks I can't attack him. Do you not know that? I thought you didn't know that. 1300, uh, da 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 no, it's... Uh, that's gonna be a short range trap, isn't it? Uh... Oh, you give me the fucking... Oh my god. You give me that power up then? Oh, well, at least that wasn't the thing. Alright, it's a 121. Hilla 10 ults more. GG. Best run ever recorded with twin-headed behemoth deck with no passwords. 80%. Ooh, Mega Morph Pog! Oh, well. 
we got one from Pegasus earlier, didn't we? GG. Shout out to Battlefield 2142. Very good game. Thanks to the GGs, guys. Much appreciated. Hope you guys are enjoying these playthroughs of the different decks, by the way. Uh, cause, I mean, it's a bit of fun. It's nice to not have to fucking try hard every second and, like, just chill and... We get to see different monsters and stuff, so we don't just have to see the same, like, four fucking zombies. We don't have to be like, oh, no, we, oh, we, we didn't open with Dimension Hole. So we have to just restart and skip three minutes of dialogue. That's what every fucking world record attempt run of this game is. Instead, it's like, holy shit, we got a great bill. We just killed the final boss with a great bill on water. Then <laughs> you... Uh, man. Class. <laughs> uh, it's, it's good fun. I'll upload this one probably, because I don't really want to... I don't want to stress too much about sub-120s. So that's why I set the goal to sub-130. And if we get a decent run in, it'll be closer to 120. So yeah. Glad you guys enjoyed the run, because it's, it's nice. It's just chill, you know. <laughs> nah. No save. Oh, run invalidated if it's FM rules. Because it was an FM run, wasn't it? The amount of, like, FM shit that we played, like... THTD and stuff. Kind of funny. Mm. Yeah, that's a nice run. Oh yeah, and, uh, obligatory, if you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe, because I'm gonna upload this to YouTube, probably. I need content, okay? I'll take it. 